Hi there ladies, I've um, got these other scrap flowers that I've been making this week and they're all made out of scraps from uh, fabric and that's all. So the only, um, the, the other ones you've seen on the right hand side there that I'm just showing you now, they're the ones I made and I showed you in another video. So easy to make and such great fun that I made more. And um, what I've done is I've been using just scraps that I have been putting together um, from a very pretty tablecloth and I also used some of those flowers as a middle that I've put in the middle there on the snippet roll that I've just showed you. I was um, cutting out um, you know pieces and like petal pieces and I thought uh, right okay I'm just going to go around them on my sewing machine and I thought no I'm not really enjoying this and it's taking forever so I didn't didn't do it on most of the petals and it works just as well so I just left the petals um, from this little tablecloth that I've cut up and various other scraps that I've had as well so I've just put it on that pink one and I think that's a super pretty flower so I just sort of started um, sewing around the petals and I thought, no, this is taking forever. I'm just going to use um, whatever I want to do and just put that flower together. And it's turned out pretty well. Now I've had these flowers in a bag because I've put some drops of uh, rose oil in the bag. So they're a bit squished. But normally that stays, that's a lot, um, you know, it's far more voluptuous than that. But it's been a bit squished in a bag. Um, I like to keep everything in... Uh, plastic bags as um, you know just sort of keeps them nice but that one's a bit squished but uh, it does actually fluff out nicely when um, I'm sure in about 10 minutes it will recover from its little um, you know being in the plastic bag but I've added a few drops of uh, rose oil and they smell gorgeous so um, there's loads of lace in that one and just scraps of lace scraps of uh, the tablecloth I don't like to really you know, sort of um, waste anything really if I, if I can help it. So, uh, you know, these flowers are just are just so cute and I had so much fun making them that I just kept on doing it because I don't really craft things. If I'm doing some sort of a project and I don't like it, I'll just stop and I won't bother. But um, with these, I sort of, I was having so much fun. Plus, you're using up scraps, which is always a good thing. Um, here's another one I did with... Um, some um, soury silk and the same tablecloth and it's got a cute little middle there and loads of layers again. You can see the lovely blue um, aqua blue soury silk in between the petals there and it's just uh, another pretty flower for, for a project. Now these will be part as well as the snippet roll that I've just shown you these will be part of the giveaway it is running a little bit behind because I did go away for a few days so um, that's what's going in the giveaway I hope you can whoever wins these can use them you know I really do and uh, just sort of they're, they're just pretty they smell lovely and and they're just quite unusual I think um, very very easy to make and all of that there is just from the, the scraps of soury silk that I had. And the other flower had banana, um, like a banana twine on it, which comes from um, some of the scraps that I had from my other soury bag. But um, here's a real pretty one. And that's just made, that is made out of uh, a beautiful pink scarf, which I bought to wear for the wedding. But it, it was sort of, um, it wasn't, the fabric wasn't really very nice, so... Um, it's great for crafts, but not for kind of wearing out. So it was a bit cheaper than I thought it was. But it's a really lovely soft pink that's underneath this flower. And that's the, the scarf. And I think it's great if you've got scarves laying around that you don't use anymore. Or something that I'd bought that wasn't very expensive. I just kind of put into my projects. And I just really had a ball making these flowers. So... You know, they're just bit, bits of this and bits of that. And it's just the way kind of I've put them together that like with the soury silk incorporated in the flower, also used on the tassel, which makes it kind of, um, you know, match up. So I think I prefer the little pink and white flower myself. And hopefully that one will fluff up. 
<laughs> anyway, ladies, I hope you've enjoyed um, watching these um, little flowers of mine. And I'm going to do another video in a minute uh, of a journal that I'm just doing. So I shall be talking to you again in just a minute. So thank you for watching. Much love and bye for now.